This is BS. This is BS. Why are we here? I am going to call corporate. <laughs> Who the hell gave this guy a video camera? Welcome, I guess, into another edition of BSing with Big Nate. <sighs> Good luck. Welcome into another edition of BS with Big Nate. Really excited to welcome to the show Mr. Ryan Albanese. You know him as Rudy, former, uh, um, it was Middays, right? Uh, yes, I think I started as a weekender and then moved to Middays. Former Midday host here on. Uh, uh, I, was, I, I was overnight at one point. You were overnight too? We, uh, we, we had the privilege of, of working together for quite a while and then he moved west. Not very far west, but more west than I live. And uh, he's been doing some pretty cool stuff on uh, his Instagram and now his YouTube. And I wanted to talk about it. And it's going to the movies. So it, to give a background on it, the way it started, at least from my perspective, I can't speak for you. I can just kind of give a little synopsis here. You and, and Virginia, your significant other, were going to filming locations and, and posting pictures and matching them with stills of the movie that, that, that corresponded. And I always thought that was really cool. And then, it was, what do you say, about two months ago, three months ago or so, you yeah, started doing cool. videos to accompany them and uh, really entertaining stuff. Um, I want to get your perspective first on, on kind of how it started. I know film's a very important part of your life. We, we kind of always bonded over that. What made you decide to do this? Well, every time I traveled, I would always look up, like, what's the closest thing that was filmed there? Like, if I went to a new city, I would see what movies were filmed there. And the, the first one I did was, like, 10 years ago. I went out to uh, the Pacific Northwest, and we were going to visit Seattle, and I was like, I got to see the apartment building from Singles. So I think that was, like, the first one I ever did. Um, and it it kind of morphed into now I'm basing my vacations on where were like pockets of movies filmed like Wilmington or New Orleans or Atlanta so that I can visit more locations just because I'm having such a good time doing it. And uh, I'll just match up, you know, the shots from the movie that started probably about a couple months into quarantine. We were like, Hey, this is a good thing to do while we're in quarantine because you're not really around anyone. Most of them are outside. So we went to the My Cousin Vinny spots down in Georgia. Um, and from that point on, we've hit like, I don't know, I think I'm at like 40 movies, just over 40 movies so far visited filming locations. And now um, I decided to start the YouTube channel because I was like, if I'm going to keep doing this, I might as well share it with you know other people. And I think it's a really cool concept. Um, I really enjoy, I'm someone who watches, like I like offbeat tourism stuff. Like if you're watching the travel channel, I'm not necessarily a big fan of the, these are your top 50 destinations. I like the things that are, are kind of off the beaten path, if you will. And this is definitely something that, that requires a lot more planning up front because like you said, you've got to find where these were filmed. And, and so when you're, prepping for this like uh uh particularly my cousin Vinny, you mentioned that you had done that on the instagram and that's also one of the the videos that stood out how hard and how much time is spent you know preparing like obviously you probably have to go back and rewatch the movie and, and kind of take notes like has it changed your v movie viewing habits yeah i mean i've definitely if i'm not in a theater i'm definitely pausing the movie like where is that? Where is that? That's just something I've always wondered is like where, if you can tell it's not a set, I'm always wondering where that is. And now just having done it so much, I know that I can quickly find it. Like I went through a movie last night and I found all the exterior locations in less than a couple hours and they're actually in Virginia. So I'm pretty excited to do those pretty soon, but um, I'm sorry. What was the question again? Like, what does the pre-production process look like? Oh, the, yeah, the pre-production. So for the videos, it's gotten a lot more involved. First, you want to find the locations. And if it's a popular one, like My Cousin Vinny, as you can imagine, has been done a bunch of times by other people who like to do this kind of thing. 
So I can go to their videos and, and use that as a reference, or there's, there's other movie location websites that will list them, addresses, uh, GPS points, that sort of thing. But I always like, if I'm going to do a video that a bunch of people have done, I want to add something else to it. So I really wanted to find where did they film the interiors of the courthouse. So I spent like, I don't know, it was at least a couple of days trying to figure out what exactly that was. And I knew it was in a warehouse in, uh, uh, now I forget the name of the town, but it's in Georgia. Um, and I searched through newspapers from the nineties and I was able to figure out that they filmed in the same warehouse where they filmed a television show version of in the heat of the night. And then I used information on in the heat of the night to figure out where that was. And it turned out they both used that same courthouse set. So I was able to match up a bunch of things with that. And, you know, it just depends. Some of them, if it's a less popular movie, but it's something that's really important to me, I'll spend days looking for it. In the heat of the night, the movie version, I actually went to those locations. There's a bunch of stuff that doesn't exist anymore because that was done in the 60s. And there's, um, you know, things that have been torn down. So I was able to find old aerial photographs from the 1960s, like a year after the movie was filmed and pinpoint exactly where those spots were. So that kind of movie, there was no videos. Some spots were known, but the ones that were torn down weren't, but I just wanted to find them anyways. So it just depends on how, how popular it is. It's finding it can be a really quick thing or a really fast thing. I think that's another important thing to note is, is you kind of mentioned that things are getting torn down the farther we move away from the movie being shot. And I, th I think it's kind of cool that you kind of are able to provide this kind of archival snapshot, if you will, uh, of, you know, what it looks like now, the one that, that really stood out to me. And I, I don't know why it was just, there was a lot for me to take in. It was the, my cousin Vinny one where you're at the sack of suds and you had posted a picture of how it was messy from the previous time you were there. And even at, I, I, what was that? Probably like a seven, eight month span between your trips there. And, and yeah. then it, it's now since even in that short little time span been cleaned up and it, it does look like they're probably getting ready to reopen it. So you may have to go back, but, uh, it's just cool to me that, you know, you're kind of able to see this growth and this, this process play out. Um, another one that stood out and, and this is particular in that same moment, you mentioned that they made up a County in Alabama. They were shooting in Georgia. I don't remember like the plot of my cousin Venny and it's been a while since I watched, I don't remember being that essential that it was in Alabama. It very easily could have been in Georgia. Why did they do that? I don't know. Uh, I guess because it was just originally in the script that way, but it seems like to make it easier, you could just like change it in the script and then not have to add a bunch of signs in the town and stuff like that. They actually did that for In the Heat of the Night. They filmed it in, it took place in Mississippi in some town and it was based off a book. And they decided to film it because of the time period that in the subject matter, they filmed it in the north but they wanted to find a town that looked southern and it was sparta illinois so they just called it sparta mississippi so they wouldn't have to change signs that makes sense to me leaving it as alabama where you got to change like highway signs and all that i don't know why but that's if they're just sticking to the script that uh you've got a really aggressive uh, uh writer who's just there the whole time you're nope it's beecham beecham yeah, yeah. county beecham damn it county. it's wazoo city has uh which one that you, you've done and, and gone to visit, which has stuck out to you the most? There's a couple. I, I've been asked that a few times. Well, some people ask it as like, what's your favorite? It's hard to pick like the same as what's your favorite movie. But the ones that stick out are the ones that are like tied to an anniversary. Like we did Shawshank Redemption in Mansfield, Ohio. I think that's, yeah, Mansfield. And there was tons of fans there. So you're like, it's a movie that you love. And then you're surrounded by like hundreds of people that also love the movie. And on top of that, like you screen it, they usually have like a screening of the movie at their local theater and the, a panel of guests. So like the director was there for that one, a couple of the like side actors. Um, that just makes the experience like 10 times better, especially if you can watch the movie where it was filmed. There was one, Actually, okay, I've got one that stands out the most because of the creepiness of it. 
we went to the conjuring house, which is close to the public. It's a private home, but there was an event put on by this company called onset cinema out of North Carolina. And they were going to screen the conjuring. And I know what you did last summer, which was also filmed at that house. It's, um, I forget the character's name, but you know, they go to ask this girl about her brother yeah. at this house. It's the same house. It looks different in both movies, but they screened those two movies in the backyard. So we, we went back there and watched it and there was nothing around that house. You can hear the wind coming from like miles away through the trees and like, I'll never forget watching the movie and that experience. It makes it so much cooler when you're watching the movie in the spot. Yeah. I mean, that's really unique, but also like not so much in, in, in I know what you did last summer, but definitely the conjuring, like being there at that house, that's, that just, just adds kind of a new level of, of, of immersion to it. Yeah. That's, that's pretty wild. It, 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 I, I really appreciate what you're doing with this. The, the other thing that's kind of stuck out to me on, on the videos in particular is the, the production value. Um, kind of a, 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 if Ken's, Ken Burns were to make a, a travel show, I, I think you've got a lot of cool effects. Um, one that I'm seeing a lot of is, is you'll have a shot of the location that it'll sweep a picture of the still from yeah. the movie. Ah, oh, I love that. Well, I appreciate that. I, I'm trying to put a lot of time into the editing. I, I, they say on YouTube, like you're supposed to put a bunch of videos out, uh, like keep producing content, content, content. But I really want to take the time to like edit these things to be as nice looking as they can be. But at the same time, I don't want it to look like it's another movie because the whole point is to like take the viewer to that spot. And if it looks just like it did in the movie, you're not really taking them there. They're just seeing it as it was. Um, so I'm kind of figuring it out. My YouTube channel is really new. I think I have like seven videos right now. Yeah. Seven. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> and, um, uh, I'm trying to, you know, get that perfect balance, but I, I do enjoy the editing as a creative kind of person, just because with each movie there comes a different audience. So that like makes the marketing different. And then with each movie, there's a different style to it. And so searching for music that you can use and, and how you're going to um, color grade the video and that sort of thing all plays into it. Yeah. I, I think that's, that's another thing it is with, with a channel like this and with, with something like this, it's a very specific hobby, but it's got a wide variety of what you can do. Um, I mean, so far I've seen you do looper, my cousin Vinny in the heat of the night groundhog day, which that that I do enjoy Groundhog Day. I think that one was really cool. Uh, that, that was, was actually another, the one. That was the first one I saw. Was that was Groundhog another Day. great experience because we went for the Groundhog Day was not filmed in Punxsutawney, which is where they have the Groundhog Day ceremony. It was filmed in Woodstock, Illinois, and ever since the movie filmed there, I don't even. I think it was before it actually even came out. But ever since the movie filmed there, they've had a Groundhog Day ceremony in honor of the movie and almost every location looks exactly the same, including like the insides uh, of places. That was my, that was my big takeaway too, is how, and it seemed like you were easily able to find quite a bit. Yeah. Like that one is all set up for you. That one, that one, there was the prep time was like getting the screenshots that I needed and um, just planning like what I was going to say, but as far as finding those locations, there are, they're all found. I mean, people go there every year just to see those spots and they, the town marks it out. Like they're so proud of that movie. So I got to ask, obviously this is something, this is an ongoing thing and it's something that you put a lot of time and passion into. So I, I'm guessing you have a calendar here and uh, uh, want anything particular coming up that we should be looking out for? Yeah, um, this week we're going to do some cool stuff in Oklahoma this coming week. Uh, the 25th anniversary of Twister is, I'm, I think it's next week. That's when the celebration is. Uh, a town called Wakita is where, if you remember the, um, the aunt character, her house that got destroyed by the tornado. That was in Wakita. It was this town that they needed to get rid of some buildings. And so Warner Brothers was like, let us destroy it with our movie tornado and then we'll clean it all up. Um, 
there's other spots around Oklahoma. We're going to visit those too, but that's the reason we're going for the anniversary celebration. And um, a very, very, very well-known filmmaker and several very, very, very well-known actors are currently filming something in Oklahoma. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can crash the set or, you know, get some shots from outside. Obviously I can't line anything up because I don't know what, you know, what angles they're using, but I'm going to see what I can do there. Uh, don't research that because I'm trying to be the first one to, to see those spots. I, I think that's a really cool idea. I think that one's going to kind of be in reverse if you think about it. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. I love it. Um, if you're in Oklahoma and, and you see a tornado, you've obviously got to get footage of that as well. Right? Yeah. I mean, uh, I always try to do, if there's a restaurant in a movie, if that's an actual restaurant, I eat at the restaurant. If there's a tornado in a movie, I'm going to try to chase a tornado, you know? I mean, it's, it's you got to make the for experience the, for the love uh, of the game, you know? Yeah. All right. well, the channel is going to the movies. Uh, do you want to give your Instagram? I don't know if you want random people following you or not. Oh yeah, sure. Um, that is long since not been a personal Instagram. Um, the Instagram is checker Fred, which is spelled C H three C K E R F R E D. And I can show you guys a couple of examples, maybe. Yeah, so this is how the Instagram is with the split screens. You just kind of match up. There's my cousin Vinny. Uh, what's that one? That's oh, I know what you did, did last, last summer. Um, Groundhog Day. So I try to line those shots up as perfectly as possible, and it's, it's kind of satisfying to the brain, you know, to see the then and now. It, it's a lot of fun. It, you'll be digging. I mean, let's be real here. It's it's much better than a lot of things you're doing online. Um, it's entertaining, at least for someone. If you love movies, you're going to love the channel. You're going to love the Instagram and, and get some insight to things you maybe not know. That's the other thing. You really do your research really thoroughly. You are able to bring stuff. Like it's not just shots of the location. There's also like always cool little tidbits that you learn. And, and I think that's uh, if we're learning and enjoying what well, we're, we've achieved the ultimate in human experiences, but uh Make sure you subscribe to his channel. There's a link above or below, depending on if you're watching me on YouTube or Facebook. And uh, Ryan, thank you so much for joining me. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to what's next. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I love talking about this stuff. So anytime you want to have me on, I'm here. Oh, I will.